Hey everyone, this is Olivia and welcome back to my channel. Today, let's talk about protection through the blood. Protection is another benefit of the blood. This does not mean that if we chant the blood of Jesus repeatedly, we will not be harmed. Some people have made a fetish of Jesus' blood by pleading the blood over themselves, over their house, and sprinkling the blood here and there. It is not the chanting of the blood of Jesus that brings protection, but rather faith in what the blood of Jesus has done for us. Expressions such as the devil cannot cross the bloodline are futile unless one's faith is in the protection secured by the shed blood of Jesus on Calvary. It is what is behind the blood, not the mere speaking of the blood that brings protection. Of course, we can voice our faith in Jesus' blood and as we do so, there is power in those words. We should, however, understand that the mere speaking is not sufficient unless unless our words are backed by real faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. A beautiful type of this is found in Exodus 12 is a 30. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. When the Lord sent the plague to destroy the Egyptians because of their refusal to release Israel, He instructed His people to slay a lamb and place the blood on the upper and side doorposts of their houses so that the dead angel would not come into that house. Because they had faith in God and obeyed His command, all that were in those houses were spared. That's it for today. Thanks for watching this video. May God bless you all. Have a wonderful day and stay safe.